capital this e. conference will now be recorded but sampraapti is happening in the mind of the treating physician sampraapti is happening because it is a story it is a story made by the vaidya regarding what has happened in the body of the uh, rogi so that is very important why it is important because it is your capacity as a vaidya to read the language of the sharira it is your capacity as a vaidya to read the language the alphabet the grammar of the sharira and to frame a story out of it which is going to decide your success as a vaidya so we need finer understanding of what all things are explained in these lines this is supposed to be the most crucial part as long as you have got a thorough understanding of the technical terms and definitions this this chapter is going to be so crucial in understanding the language in terms of alphabets as well as grammar of the sharira so that is fine so now let us move forward the next line he is concluding to what we have explained so far nidanam edad doshanam nidanam edad doshanam edad doshanam nidanam these are the cost nidanam for dosham dosham means dosha kopam then next line kupitas tena naigatha kurvandi vividhan vyadhin shakha koshta sthi sandhishu kupitas tena naigatha kurvandi vividhan vyadhin shakha koshta sthi sandhishu tena tena nidane na naigatha na ekatha ekatha means of one type in one way na ekatha means not in one way but in many ways kupitaha kupitaha so naikadha kupitaha naikadha kupitaha malaha doshaha tena naikadha kupitaha doshaha then vividhan vyadhin kurvandi vividhan vividham diverse various types vyadhin diseases kurvandi cause the manifestation of so diseases of various types are getting manifested by this different types of dosha gopa where that is the question then the answer comes shakha koshta asthi sandhishu shakha koshta asthi sandhishu what is shakha koshta asthi sandhishu we have not met with such a term earlier that is the immediate question the knee jerk response we have not seen such a term earlier let us tell you are saying that the diseases are going to be manifested in shakha koshta and asthi sandhi not in human body so tell us what is shakha koshta and asthi then he is explaining no 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 it is not like that body is divided into three territories so interestingly you see come to the core of the stuff shakha koshta asthi sandhi the three names of three different territories of the body so the body is made into different categories just think about one of the diagrams which you could have seen in the maybe in a physiology textbook of some modern uh, medicine initially there will be an outline of a human body now first we are going to show the lymphatic system then there will be some yellow uh, drawings inside this framework then the next figure we are going to show you the bone skeletal system then in the same body frame the bones will come 
then next we are going to explain the arterial system then the arteries come similarly in the framework of body we are imposing three different things one is shakha second is kosta third is asti sandhi and these three things are known as yoga margas there is a there is a uh, trade called cartography i don't know how many of you are familiar with the word cartography cartography is the science or the trade of making maps map so cartography is the way in which the map of a territory is made here actually with the concept of yoga margas we are making some sort of a cartographical exercise on human body a cartographic we are making the map of a human body and we have got three types of maps you just think the example of google maps what sort of map you need do you need the normal map or the traffic or the territory as such or something else you have the choices so you will get the map of the same territory expressed in multiple ways similarly shakha kosta asti sandhi is some sort of a cartographical explanation or expression of the human body with the three types shakha kosta asti sandhi these three are three different territories within the system in which different sets of diseases can manifest so when you are seeing a google map related with the roads the traffic system your interest will be to see how the roads are spread how the the roads are progressing from one destination to the other how the subways and small roads are interconnected whether you can find a cross cut from one main road to another road skipping the main lengthy highway so all these things are our interest in the same way when you explain the yoga marga of the sharira you are looking into the options of how a disease can spread in the body how there is multiple possibilities of interconnectedness of diseases how a disease started in one form can progress into another disease in the same yoga marga how a disease started in one yoga marga can stretch out to reach another yoga marga and get complicated all these predictive possibilities are staying embedded hidden in the concept of yoga marga so this is very very important he just introduced three terms shakha kosta and asti sandhi now he is going to explain one after the other let us see shakha raktadaya stvakcha bahya rogayanam hi tad shakha raktadaya stvakcha bahya rogayanam hi tad shakha what i meant with the shakha acharya vakbhada uh, is explaining what i meant by the term shakha is raktadaya tvakcha raktadaya tvakcha raktadaya raktadi dhadu raktam mamsam medas asti majja shukram tvakcha added on with tvak tvakcha and he names it this is known as bahya rogayanam bahya rogayanam actually it has got three words in it number 1 is bahya number 2 is roga number 3 is ayana bahya roga ayana ayanam idi margam ayanam margam rogam rogam bahyam which represents maybe the outer part of something we don't know of what 
it is outer part of something bahyam bahi so bahya rogayanam root ayanam margam of roga which is positioned bahya of something shakha rektadaya twaccha actually that rektadaya twaccha leaves behind a lot of questions why rasa is not included what is the meaning of twak here whether it is the skin what you may see outside or something else all these things are to be learned or looked into deeply i do not know whether we will get time during this lockdown session for that we will see if possible we will do it later then he is continuing how is it is tada ashraya mashavyanga gandala jarbudadaya bahurbhagascha durnama gulma shobhadayo gadah tada ashraya mashavyanga gandala jarbudadaya bahurbhagascha durnama gulma shobhadayo gadah so he is listing out uh, as an example the names of certain diseases tadashraya in this bahya rogayana what we called as shakha i am listing out some diseases which you may be, which you can take as an example what are they masha vyanga ganda alaji arbudadaya etc 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 some examples are given if you look into the peculiarity of the diseases which i have listed out you will understand that what this rogayana really represent that rektadaya tokcha the involvement of the rektadaya tokcha can be seen well reflected in the list of diseases then he continues bahir bhaga ascha durnama gulma shobhada yogada durnama gulma shobhadaya gadaha cha but that durnama gulma shobhadaya has got a visheshana bahir bhagaha durnama gulma shobhadaya so it's a tricky point because those which are listed out in the second line that means durnama gulma shobhadaya they have got two types of presentations or in the same disease you have to understand two categories of the same issue that means bahirbhaga and andarbhaga so the bahirbhaga presentation of these diseases are to be accommodated in this bahya rogayana the bahirbhaga presentation of these diseases are to be accommodated in the bahya rogayana shakha then what about the remaining part that we will see later now let us see what the next lines are he is going to explain the next roga marga that means kosta anda kosto mahasroda ama pakwa ashaya ashraya anda kosto mahasroda ama pakwa ashaya ashraya ama pakwa ashaya ashraya mahasroda anda kosta ama pakwa ashaya ashraya something which is seated incorporating these two ashayas amashaya and pakwashaya something which is seated they themselves form this particular roga marga the combination of amashaya and pakwashaya themselves they form this roga marga ama pakwashaya ashraya mahasrotaha it is a mahasrotaha maha shows the greatness as well as the bulkiness of the of the that uh, uh, srotas maha srotaha it, it it shows the functional importance as well as the structural importance that mahat then it is known as andaha anda the other one was bahya so other one was bahya rogayanam here this one is andar rogayanam andar rogayanam and it is named as koshtaha andar rogayanaha mahasrotaha amapakwashayashrayaha is called koshtaha 
then he is listing out the diseases that can manifest in this Bhadoga Marga. Talsthanaha. Talsthanaha seated in this Roga Marga are Chardya Visara Kasa Shwaso Dharajwaraha Andar Bhagam Ja Shobhar Shogulma Visarpa Vidrati Talsthanaha Chardya Visara Kasa Shwaso Dharajwaraha Andar Bhagam Ja Shobhar Shog Gulma V Sarpa Vidradhi. So Chardi Adhisaram Kasam Swasam Udaram Jaram. The first line. Then Shobhar Shogulma V Sarpa Vidradhi. Actually, this list should be read along with what we have seen earlier. That means the Durnama Gulma Shobha Adayaha. That Adi should incorporate whatever is left behind in this list they are almost the same so the whatever is not uh, directly mentioned should be included in that adi shabda so regarding the shobha or so gulma visarpa vidradhi we can expect two components the anda component and bahi component of that the Bahi component was included in the Bahi Rogayana. The Andha component should be included in the Koshta. Andar Bhagam Ja Shobhar So Gulma Visarpa Vidrati. So that gives you a finer understanding of that set of diseases where you have got two components, Bahya and Andaha. They should be looked for properly because this Andaha, Andar Bhagam of these diseases are responsible for creating mechanical obstruction in the Mahasrodha. They are concerned with the mechanical obst obstruction that can manifest in the uh, Mahasrodha. Whereas their origin from the Bahya Roga Marga should not be overlooked while coming to the treatment side. Very good. Then the third uh, Roga Marga Shirohrdaya Vastyadi Marma Nyasthanam Jasandhaya Tan Nibadha Sirasna Yukandara Dyascha Madhyamaha Roga Marga Shirohrdaya Vastyadi Marma Nyasthanam Jasandhaya Tan Nibadha Sirasna Yukandara Dyascha Madhyamaha Roga Margaha. Let us see. Shiro Hrudaya was the Adi Marmani. Shiro Hrudaya was the Adi Marmani. Astanam Santayaha. Tanni Badhaha. Sirasna you Kandaradhyaha. Cha Madhemaha Roga Margaha. This is the standard way of explaining it. Shiro Hrudaya was the Adi Marmani. Astanam Santayaha. Tanni Badhaha Sirasnayu Kandaradhyaha Cha Madhya Maharyoga Margaha. So here three marmas are explained by name and the rest of the marmas are reflected or, or uh, represented by the Adi. Shiro Hrudaya Vasti Trimarmiyam. Shiro Hrudaya Vasti Adi Marmani. Then Asthinam Sandhayaha. Asthi Sandhayaha. Asthi Sandhi. The sandhi which are formed in asthis. So that is very important. If we explain it that way, you should not take asthi into this particular roga marka. It is not the asthi. Asthi comes under rektadaya toksha. So that is bahi roga marka. But here, the sandhi made out of asthi. The Sandhi is a functional unit. The Sandhi which is made out of the Asti, that is a part of this Madhya Maroga Marga. Shiro Hrdaya Vastyadi Marmani, Asthinam Sandhayaha, then Tan Nibadha, Teshu Nibadha, attached to these things. That means Shiro Hrdaya Vastyadi Marmani and Asti Marm, Asti Sandhayaha. And Something is connected to these two sets of organs. What are connected? Sira, Snayu, Kandaradhyaha. Sira, Snayu, Kandaradhyaha. Dhamani. 
or whatever things you are going to accommodate in that list they all together so three set of things shirohrudaya vastyadi marmani asthanam sandhayaha teshu nibaddha sirasnayu kandaradhyaha cha all together forms madhyamaha roga margaha madhyamaha roga margaha as i told earlier this is the standard way of explaining but there is a difference in opinion i don't know how uh, how many people will be interested in knowing this but i think it is it, i have to explain it see uh, one way of explaining here is asthi sandhi asthi sandhi is regarded as the name of the yoga marga asthi sandhi is regarded as the name of the yoga marga why because asti sandhis that means the sandhis formed out of the astis they form the majority of the numbers involved the majority of the member organs involved in this yoga marga so when we have a crowd when we have a crowd of people of which 80% of the people are wearing a wearing yellow shirts 20% of people are having different types of dresses so on the first look you will feel as a crowd of people with a yellow shirt that 20% of scattered colors will not be taken into consideration so as a whole we call them as a crowd of people with yellow shirts similarly in the entire list of the organs involved in the madhyama roga marga the majority is asti sandhis because the number of asti sandhis is too much so all together this roga marga itself is known as asti sandhi that is why it is explained like kurvandi vividhan vyadhin shagha koshta asti sandishu in that statement shagha is the name of one roga marga koshta is the roga uh, name of the second roga marga obviously the third roga marga is known as asti sandhi so that way of explanation is also there of course which those who are interested in the theoretical part especially the teachers i think this is very important because the text should be interpreted properly so that is why i am mentioning those clinicians may not be interested in this at all okay fine so tannibaddha sirasnayu kandarascha madhya maharoga margaha then sthitaha tatra tatra sthitaha now he is listing out the examples of diseases which can be manifested in this roga marga yakshma pakshavadha arditaha murdhadi rogaha sandhyasthi trigashula grahadaya yakshma pakshavadha arditaha a list of vada vyadhis are also coming under that list murdhadi roga murdha represents the trimarma here murdhadi roga those diseases which are primarily involving the marmas then sandhyasthi trigashula grahadaya sandhyasthi trigashula grahade sandhi asti trigashulam so when you are dealing with the shulam of different types the graham of the graham is the catching type of pain of different types you have to look into the possibility of involving uh, madhyama roga marga murdhadi roga so with that we are uh, coming to a, a conclusion about the three roga margas actually here we have to uh, explore much much more about the ro concept of roga marga because this roga marga is a is a very sharp tool as far as vaidya is concerned proper understanding of roga marga is clinically important in multiple ways the basic one is it gives you a pretty good idea about the samprapti number 2 it helps you in predicting the course of the disease to some extent it helps you in predicting the course of the disease to some extent number 
it gives you pretty good freedom in understanding the sadhya sadhya understanding the we have seen earlier in one of the other aishkamiyam ega dosha margaha navah sukaha ega dosha margaha sukaha so if the disease has its spread through only one roga marga that gives you a relative better prognosis when it is two situation is becoming little bit tough when all the roga margas are involved it is it by every means it, it can turn out to be a asadhya roga so it gives a good idea about the sadhya sadhya again very important uh, the use selection and usage of medicines selection and usage of medicines i will give you an example uh, generally we select the medicines for their uh, dosha shamana swabhava for example i do not know whether the example what i am telling here i will try to uh, give a better a universal example maybe see one uh, churna called hingvashtaka i hope hingvashtaka will be familiar for everybody in spite of our south north east west divisions so hingvashtakam is janayadi jadharagnim vada gulmam nihandi janayadi jadharagnim vada gulmam nihandi coming to the dosha samana swabhava it is pitta vardhaka kabha vada samaka hingvashtakam is kabha vada samanam pitta vardhaka agni deepana so we just take the influence of the uh, do uh, uh, hingvashtaka in terms of dosha so we are very clear that it is kabhavada samana but if you try this hingvashtakam to bring about kabhavada samanam in bahya rogayana or kabhavada samanam in madhyama roga marga your selection will be a failure because hingvashtakam even though kabhavada samana has got its inclination towards kostha only hingvashtaka even though kabhavada samana has got its inclination to kostha only it is least interested in bahya rogayana or madhyama rogamayana rogamarga so understanding the inclination of an aushadha yoga in terms of roga marga gives you better precision in your prescription understanding of the inclination of the aushadha yoga to the particular roga marga gives you more precision in your prescription number 1 number 2 if you know that this particular medicine is having this particular dosha samana and it is inclined to this particular roga marga you can apply you can use the same aushadha yoga for diseases which are not mentioned in the phalashruti of the yoga i hope i am clear i will repeat if you know the inclination of a particular aushadha yoga in terms of roga marga and if you are sure about the dosha samana swabhava of the aushadha yoga you can use that aushadha yoga for many other diseases in that particular roga marga which is not mentioned in the bhalashruti of that particular aushadha yoga for example see the same hingvashtaka janayadi jadharagnim vada gulmam nihandi so we understand that it is kabhavada samana pitta vardhaka 
agni deepana all these things are there balashrudi tells us very simple things janayadi jadhara agnim jadhara agnim janayadi vada gulmam nihandi it resolves vada gulma but from the dravya swabhava we understand it is kapha vada shamana from the uh, explanation of the given diseases we understand that it has got the affinity towards the kosta with these two inf informations you can use this hingostaga for any other disease in the kosta which is kabhavada predominant let it be anaham let it be tuni let it be praduni or let it be something else anything which is kabhavada prathana and which has got kosta as its marga this ingostagam will work so that's where it's a way of understand because now you have a, just a handful of medicines but you are crystal clear about the dosha samana subhava of that medicine and the particular inclination of each medicine to the particular roga marga you are rich you may be only having 10 medicines but with that 10 medicine you may be able to attend 100 situations so that sort of a clinical freedom or clinical liberty you get if you understand the concept of roga marga properly so with that i think we have explained three roga margas and a finer understanding of the structural components of the roga marga is also important but i do not know to what extent we will be able to i think once we get more time we will come to it unfortunately i think we have to uh, close this session now uh i i hope we will we will meet again maybe one of these days uh nilesh hello yes sir nilesh can you yes shall we stop now yes sir yes sir sure as okay. as per your time. yeah actually i was uh, today i was i was planned for yes, yes. one hour 8:30. 7:30 to 8:30 yes, yes. now it is 8:50 considering yes, that yes, break sir. in between sorry for yes, that sir. otherwise i could have extended no, comfortably sir, no, sir. for one and a half hours but uh, no, i sir, hope no, we will we will meet again we will meet again yes sir sure, if sir, you sir. are you people are interested i find lot of questions popping up in the chat column but unfortunately i cannot answer all these things uh, during the session what i will do <laughs> is if you can uh, uh, just compile these questions somebody if you can assign somebody i will try okay, to sir. write answers for all these questions and i will send yes. back to nilesh and you can circulate that may be the practical option because otherwise we will move we will not move forward yes, so sir, yes, thank sir. you very much wish you all a very very happy vishu the south indian new year stay happy stay safe and stay blessed thank you sir thank you sir करतो ना मैसेज सगे थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू